I think I'd agree entirely with what Rowan Williams said on Newsnight a few days later, uh, that Stephen Fry was pretty vehement, but try looking at Job or Lamentations or some of the Psalms, you'll find things that are just as in God's face, real honest expression of rage, of complaint, of lament, uh, as Stephen Fry expressed. And I think that one of the perplexities and wonders of the love of God in Jesus Christ is he makes space for us to shout back. We have free will. Yes, the atheist voices are strong at the moment. They've been very strong in the past. You know, Russian Revolution, French Revolution, uh, much of the Enlightenment, the Scottish Enlightenment in particular. You'll find all kinds of times when what was called rationalism was very, very powerful. And uh, there's one or two universities in the country that when they were founded by particular groups in the 19th century, uh, it was in their founding documents. They couldn't have chaplains. Now, this is, we just have to be real. We, and we aren't fighting atheists. Let's just be really straight about it. There's something, funny enough, I was praying about this this morning because, I don't know, I think I was sort of reminded of it when I was praying, and it's a good reminder for me. You know, Paul says to the Ephesians, our battle isn't against flesh and blood, it's against principalities and powers, and so in the heavenly places. And, People interpret that differently, but the key thing is it's not against flesh and blood. Our enemies aren't the atheists. God loves them. Jesus died for them. So it's a good pattern for us. Tune in to the Profile Interview in association with Christianity Magazine every Saturday at 4pm, only on Premier Christian Radio, where faith comes to life.